Hi, I'm Coach Mike, and welcome to Change Your Body Boot Camps. This is Julie. Julie is a superstar client. Julie has been finishing her workout part. I mean, six per side, so she gets a bonus workout. It just so happens that her bonus workout is going to be a challenge workout today. She's going to be our model for the warm up. I'll help where needed, and she'll be our model for the challenge workout. Today, we're going to be doing Phase 8 2016 Workout B's Warm Up. This will be the warm up you'll do for workout B and for challenge workouts two and four. Helen's got a timer. Julie, would you please go to the ground? We're gonna start with push up tees. Okay, so Julie, we're gonna start with regular tees only. So go to a high plank position. Go ahead, Julie. You're gonna turn side to side on your sneakers. So you see how Julie turns side to side? She's got her butt tucked and her ribs down, so she's turning her whole pelvis, her whole trunk, as one unit. And then every time she finishes on an arm, she's got her hips pushed forward, so her ears are stacked, her shoulders are stacked, Halfway. her hips are stacked. All right, Julie, can you go to a plank to push up T? Low plank, high plank, T, both sides. Low plank, high plank, T, both sides. And then if that's too easy, you can go to a push-up to a T. Regular push-up to a T. Okay, Julie, that's your sign to rest. Please grab your blocks. Now, if you have dumbbells, grab them. Use the dumbbells to make your arms longer. So Julie's got her knees under her hips, her hands under her shoulders. All right, Julie, let's do the right arm first. Let's move the thumb down the way. You're going to make a fist. Go ahead, start, Julie. And you're going to do a one-arm trap raise. So if this is 90 degrees and this is 180 degrees, you want to be in the middle. So this is 135 degrees. And what you're going to do is you're going to scoop like you're scooping ice cream. So reach towards the floor, pull to a tilt. Reach towards the floor, pull to a tilt. She should feel work here, and she should feel work in her other arm because she's pushing and supporting her weight. She's going to get about 12 reps in 50 seconds, and then we'll switch sides to the other side. All right, Julie, you can rest your hands, rest your shoulders, and then we'll, on the next air one, we'll start the other side. Notice how she has her head pushed back the whole time versus letting her head set. This is going to work to strengthen her cervical extensors and her deep flexors because she's got a good chin tuck. She's got her butt tucked. She's in a full scapular press, which means her left arm is pushing away from the floor. So she's protracted and stable. Half way. I like a stiff, a flexed wrist, a, excuse me, a, a flexed fist and a neutral wrist because it helps to just make the arm one appendage versus a bunch of joints. Good, Julie. A little more challenging than when we practiced before, right? Yes. <laughs> Extra reps. Good one. Okay, next. Line on your back. Band hip thrust. Regular bridge to start. Okay, so supine bridge, feet flat, pushing through her heels, clawing the ground with her toes. She's got her pubic bone tilted up, she's got her rib cage pulled down, and she's got her chin tucked, tuck your chin, Julie. Okay, now she's gonna take the band. She's gonna put it on one foot, put it on the other foot, grab it in the middle, pull it over your hips. Okay, put it in the hip crease. Sorry. It's all right. Okay, so now she's going to push. She's going to feel the band stretch, but she has to push through the stretch to get the full bridge. That's okay. She should feel her glutes and her hamstrings, maybe her calves, but not her low back. Band off. Please stand, Julie. Okay, next is an incline ankle movement. Two hands on the wall. 
Rock your knee straight forward, come straight back. Helen, tell us when it's the halfway. Please. Now, if you don't have a wall. Halfway. Switch feet, please, Julie. You would do a dynamic calf push. So you'd be hands flat, heel flat. Rock back onto your heel, toes up, and come forward. If you do have a wall, or a telephone pole, or a door jam, or a street sign, your foot's on there, and you're rocking your knee forwards and backwards over the second toe. Okay. Lateral lunge. Take a step to the right. Squat to the right, stay low. Squat to the left. Squat to the right. Squat to the left. Good. Heads pulled back so you feel the back of your neck. Chin is tucked. Good. Feet point forward. Keep your weight on your heels. So this does a lot of things. This is working on mobility and stability. It's working mobility at her hips. Stability at her upper back and in her core to keep her trunk vertical or as vertical as she can do. This is hard. It's working on mobility in the ankle and this is all in the frontal plane from the waist down, the sagittal plane from the waist up. Good, Julie. How are you doing so far? Good. You okay? Yeah. All right. Next, ankle bounces. So if you're in a house where you can't bounce, you're going to do rocking calf raises. You would do 20 of these. If you can bounce, you're gonna do 50 bounces. Okay, this is like skipping rope. If you have a jump rope, you could pause the video, get your jump rope, and do 50 skips. Otherwise, this is like jumping rope. What the arms up does is it exposes the core, okay? So it, it forces you to have to brace better. Well done, Julie. Okay, next, high knee. So let's go left leg, high knee. Right hand by your face, fingers wide. Left hand by your hips. High knee, ankle, ankle, in place. Go ahead. Keep this leg straight. Please. Eight. And switch. Okay, now you can do the other side. Now, if you're in the house and you can't stop, you would just step. Step. Good. All right, next. Backwards lunge. So you're going to fit this. We can face the camera. Let's go left leg back. Right elbow to instep. Two hands flat. Hip and toe raise. Dip. Turn to the right. Step together. Right leg back. Left elbow to instep. Hip and toe raise. Turn to the left. Step together. Okay, keep going. Five per side. That was one each. Hip and toe raise. Turn to the right. Good. Just keep going. We're going to do five. We'll catch up to the clock. Something I really admire about Julie, she is outstanding about getting in challenge workouts when she can't come to boot camp. I really admire that because this really wasn't her growing up. And now she's a different mentality. Is that four or five? I think it's four. That's four on each. One thing about personal trainers is we don't count reps. <laughs> Yet our rep count is the one that's correct. <laughs> and you know how the client is always right? Well, there's an asterisk, <laughs> except when under the influence of exercise. <laughs> then you defer to the coach. Okay, one, two, 90 degree single jumps. So Julie, let's use this red line as our box, okay? She's gonna jump to the right and jump back. Now, if you're at home and you can't jump, you're just gonna step, okay? But if you can jump, you're gonna jump. So Julie, go ahead and jump. 
going to do 10. Try to stay in front of the black line. Oh, hold some of the Yep. Okay. Okay. Straight leg march. In place. Kick up. Snap down. Switch legs. Kick up. Snap down. Switch legs. Five per side. If you're at home, snap down as hard as you feel appropriate. But otherwise, snap down as hard as you can, Julie. Five per side. Okay, next, Julie. Come on down here. You're going to do a backwards run. So you're going to reach, 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 reach. We're in the gym so she can go faster. If you're at home, just do the motion. Okay, so long, exaggerated strides. Go ahead, Julie. All right, turn, come back. Turn, come Great. back. And last one, turn, come back. Awesome, Julie. Two to go. Come on down here, please. Stay in the box two. She's going to do two one 90 degree jumps. Ready? Go ahead, 10 times. Very good. Now remember, if you're at home and you can't jump, step, walk the path. If you can't keep your arms up and in, put your arms down. If you feel stronger, you can start to bring them up. Well done, Julie. Last one. Oh, sorry, two to go. Lateral lunge. Step to the left, reach, step together, step to the right, reach, Step together. Good, Julie. We're going to do four of those. Feet point forward. Weights on your heels. Heads pull back. Last one. Pull yourself as deep as you can. All right, Julie, come on down here by your butt bottom. You're going to do two down and backs, shuffling. So shuffle down to the end, shuffle back two times. Okay, so she's got a low stance, the chest is up. Ready to go. Right there. That's one, last one. Alright, so that was workout B, warm up, and you'll do this for challenge workout number two and number four. Thanks for watching. Julie, thank you. You're welcome. And now on to the challenge workout. Please like, subscribe, comment below, tell us what you think, give Julie a thumbs up, high five, and share this video.